Microphone specs are parameters that define how the microphone works and will give us an idea on how it sounds like. We're very interested in the polar pattern, frequency range and response, sensitivity, impedance, self-noise, clipping level, or maximum SPL. The frequency range or bandwidth is a numerical indication of the frequency area that a microphone will be able to reproduce within a tolerance value. It is always measured on the microphone axis and indicates the minimum and the maximum frequency that the microphone will be able to pick up. It doesn't indicate how accurate a microphone will be able to reproduce those signals. It also needs to indicate the tolerance, that is the dB above or below that zero dB line. For instance, we can have a microphone that specifies a frequency range from 50 Hz to 16 kHz plus minus 3 dB on axis. The frequency response, in the other hand, is a graphical representation of the microphone's output level at different frequencies. It is shown as a diagram of the microphone sensitivity in decibels over the range of frequencies covering the audible spectrum. Microphone specs should represent at least the on-axis frequency response. Some microphones may include off-axis response as well, and they may include response at different distances to showcase the proximity effect. Frequency response can be divided into large groups. Flat frequency response, which means that we get roughly the same output at all frequencies, which might not be desirable for all applications or adjusted frequency response that can have increased or reduced output at certain frequencies to tailor the microphones for specific applications. For instance, we can have a microphone that has a presence boost between 2 kHz and 8 kHz to increase intelligibility. They can also have a 100 Hz base roll off to counteract proximity effect. Proximity effect is the increase in low frequencies at shorter distances to the source. This is caused by the microphone's construction to achieve a directional polar pattern. Some microphones will even show a polar response. This is a representation of the microphone sensitivity to different frequencies coming from different angles from the axis. In essence, this is multiple polar patterns at different frequencies. This can give an indication on how the microphone will behave when sounds are not coming directly on axis. A microphone sensitivity indicates how well a microphone will be able to convert acoustic energy into electrical energy. It is measured in volts over pascals at 1000 Hz. Pascals is a pressure unit of measure. Sensitivity is expressed in dBV over pascal, and it must include the reference level. 1 pascal equals 94 dB SPL. The lower the number, the less sensitive the microphone is going to be. The higher it is, the more sensitive the microphone is going to be, and it will be able to pick up softer sounds. Another important parameter is the microphone self-noise. This is a measure of the noise generated by the microphone electronics. It is also known as the equivalent noise level, as it is measured in dB SPL A weighted. It defines the lower limit of the microphone's dynamic range. For instance, we can have a microphone that specifies the equivalent noise level is maximum ADBA. That means that any signal below that level is going to be masked by the microphone's own noise. The clipping level or maximum SPL is the other end of the dynamic spectrum of the microphone. It is the highest level that the microphone can handle. There's a couple of possible measurements for this spec. The SPL level that will cause the microphone to clip or produce square waveforms or the SPL level that will produce a certain amount of total harmonic distortion. For instance, we can have a microphone that specifies that the maximum sound pressure level is 160 dB SPL peak, or one that specifies that we'll get less than 1% of total harmonic distortion at 140 dB SPL. Impedance is defined as the electrical resistance of a microphone. It is measured in ohms. In the AV industry, we divide impedance in three large groups low impedance, medium impedance, and high impedance. Low impedance is anything below 600 ohms. Medium impedance is anything between 600 ohms and 10 kilo ohms. And high impedance is anything above 10,000 ohms or 10 kilo ohms. Most professional microphones are going to be low impedance. 